Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cheno. Welcome to episode one of a brand new series. So this is more of a mini series, I like to call it, because it, it is going to be kind of short. So game programming, 3D game programming, those are all series that are just really, really long. This one's only going to be a few episodes. It's probably going to be around 10 or so. I'll try and uh, explain everything though, so we'll see how it how it ends up. Um, but basically, what is this? So th this series is, I haven't actually thought of a name yet, so I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but basically what we're going to be making is something called Cherno Chat. I've just called it that. Um, basically, it's going to be a chat client and server in which you can send messages to each other. So in other words, there's going to be a central server, there's going to be multiple clients that you can give to anyone you want in the world, and whenever they log into the client and they say something, everyone else who has that client open will actually receive those messages. So it's basically an instant messaging system. Um, now, why am I doing this? Okay, this is this is application programming. This isn't game programming in any form, and that's all I've done um, on my channel. So, why am I doing this? Oh, actually, I did morning coffee. I guess that's not directly game related. But anyway, why am I doing this? Be uh, the actual reason is because um, we're about to dive into multiplayer and game programming, and it's such a it's such an abstract um, concept that I thought that it'd be good to just break it down to its core, which you know had basically like if as soon as you learn programming, like let's make a calculator. That's uh, that's what most people are like. Um, as soon as you learn multiplayer, you're like, let's make a chat client, because that's like one of those things. It's like the hello world of actual multiplayer um, communication. So that's what we're going to do, okay? Um, so this episode is going to be pretty short. It's just going to be like an introduction to this series. It's not actually going to be writing any code. We will create a window, though. Um, but apart from that, it is going to be pretty simple and I will be putting all of this source code onto GitHub so you guys can actually just download it and look at it. Um, it will be open source. It will have a license though. So if you want to use it uh, in your own code or, or distribute it, you'll actually have to enclose the license as well. Um, but there'll be more inf information about that in the actual license file. But um, the code is open source. So yeah, and it is on GitHub. And the link to that will be in the description as well as the link to something we're about to install here. So we're actually going to aid ourselves um, in Eclipse. I am, oh yeah, I should probably mention that. I'm on Mac. I'm not on Windows right now. Now, I actually tweeted in Facebook that I was going to um, possibly try Mac and if I should. And a lot, of, a lot of people said, you know, do Windows. A lot of people said do Mac. I thought I'd just do Mac. Um, now, the reason I'm doing Mac is because I'm still in Germany on my little holiday and I don't have a really powerful computer with me. And the thing is, I've got this MacBook Pro which I've had since 2010. It's actually a 2010 15-inch model, the top of the range, 2010 15-inch model. But it's still pretty slow in Windows um, because, well, yeah, it's Windows. Um, <laughs> so what I've done is I've decided to actually um, use Mac just because it's a little faster, especially on the video editing side of things. So that's why I'm using Mac here, and I thought I'd just mix it up. Okay, one more thing I wanted to mention was that... Um, yeah, my preferred development environment is Windows, though, and you should be able to follow along with this tutorial whether you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac. So, yeah. Okay, so to get started, we're actually going to install a plugin into Eclipse. So, this is Eclipse. Um, I am using uh, Juno, I believe, version 4.2.2. You can see it right here. You don't need to use this exact version, although you might need to... I don't know if you can use Kepler for this. And the reason you can't use Kepler, possibly... Again, just I'm just uh, spontaneously saying that. Um, the reason you probably can't use Kepler, maybe is because the plugin might not uh, be upgraded for... That is some serious rain outside. Anyway, I might close the window. Sorry for that. Uh, sorry about that. Just wanted to not get too much rain and... Holy crap, that's amazing. Sorry, it's been like 35 degrees here, like every day, and now it's raining. Anyway, sorry, back to this. Um, so, yeah, uh, the plugin might not support Kepler yet because Kepler, I think, is still in bed. I'm not sure. Okay, so what you want to do in Eclipse is go to Help which is up the top here, and hit install new software. That's how you install plugins into Eclipse, okay? You can actually manually download them, don't do that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually work with um, Window Builder, okay? That's what we're going to be installing. Now, the link to this is right over here. I will po I will post it into the, into the description of this video, so you'll be able to download it as well. But basically, what you'll have to do is grab that link, which I just did, hit the add button, uh, name it whatever you want, and then just paste the link in here and hit OK. Okay, and then you'll get it into here with the work with, under the work with Dropbox. So select uh, Window Builder, and then what you'll see here is a bunch of uh, stuff come up. You want to select all of it. Okay, just hit the Select All button. That's it, and hit Next. It's going to calculate requirements and dependencies. Um, blah blah blah. Hit Next. Uh, accept the uh, terms after reading, of course, and hit Finish. And it's basically just going to install the software. I'm going to just fast forward through this because this might take a while. 
All right, so once it finishes downloading and installing, you'll have to restart Eclipse, as you can see here. So just hit the yes button and Eclipse will restart. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, Juno, there it is. Um, I actually wanted to put a quick disclaimer as well in front of this entire series. Um, I'm not a professional programmer by any means. I'm 18 years old and I'm actually still in university. The only educational certification I have at all in programming is a high distinction in introduction to programming and algorithmic problem solving. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's just, that's it. So, uh, all of this code that I write here, it's completely just, it's my way of doing things. It might not be the most efficient way of doing things, but that's just what you get. So just, that's my disclaimer out of the way. Okay, sweet. So, now that we've hopefully got Window Builder um, correctly installed, what you'll have to do now is make a new project. Now, I've already got one here, and the reason I've already got one here is because I am going to be, again, um, using GitHub for this, and that's why, you know, if you do that, if you use GitHub, you'll have to set it up differently. Now, what you can do is you can actually grab my project straight from GitHub if you don't want to type the code by yourself. I highly recommend that you make a new project, a local project, um, or a, whatever, GitHub project, and actually copy down the code line by line like you do with game programming, because um, it's just going to teach you about, I don't know, 450 times more, um, specifically that amount, by the way. Uh, so, honestly, just write the code down. Now, if you really don't want to or whatever, or you just want to, you just want to follow along with me this way, um, you, 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 you can just sync it up with GitHub, okay? And if you guys don't know how to do that and you can't find any good tutorials out there because it is actually pretty complicated, um, just uh, drop a comment and I might, I might make a, tut a tutorial on how to basically um, uh, clone repositories from GitHub into Eclipse and stuff like that. Okay, anyway, so what you'll have to do is hit File, New, Java Project, call it Cherno Chat, call it whatever you want. Um, and I'll be using 1.6 because Mac doesn't actually have 1.7. Yes, it does. That's embarrassing. But, oh, maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll be using 1.6. Um, they're not that different, especially. They're just, they've got a few advanced features like multiple try catching thingies, which are very useful. But anyway, we won't need that probably for this. Um, we'll be using 1.6 and then just hit uh, finish and that's it. Okay. But we've already got one called Cherno Chat here. And that's what I'll be using, but yeah, you'll have to make your own. <clears throat> okay, so now that we've got um, everything installed, we can actually make a window quickly. So on source here, I'm just going to right click, hit new, um, and I'm not going to create a new class. I'm actually going to go to other, okay? And in other, under window builder, what you should see is a bunch of different things. Now under swing designer, um, there should be JFrame. That's what we want to create. Okay, not an application window. Don't actually even know what that is. We want to just create a new JFrame. And then hit next. Um, we want to give it a name. Now this is exactly like the class, the new class thing. Okay, we'll have to give it a package. So com dot the cherno dot uh, cherno chat, and I'll just call it login. Okay, because the first thing we're going to do is make a new login, um, just just a login window, so that we can handle that. And then hit finish, and wait for it to create. And then hopefully what you'll see is this. Okay. Now, this is very interesting because, well, we get a bunch of code here automatically generated for us, but if we hit design down the bottom, this is where the fun part starts up, we actually, um, once it passes all of the code here, it will actually create this for us. And this is awesome because what this is is basically Visual Studio's drag and drop um, thing, but in Eclipse and for Java. So um, this is just enormously helpful. Uh, for application development. Now, you don't actually have to do this. You don't have to download um, Window Builder, even though we just did. I recommend it because it'll just save you a lot of time, but obviously all of this code you can type by yourself. So you don't actually need to do this. But that being said, it will just speed up your development by a lot, okay? And then from this, you can drag on any components you want and it'll generate code for it, okay? That's all we're gonna do today because this video is getting long enough. Um, but that's basically how it's going to work. Okay, so just to clean this up a bit, I'm going to um, just add a default serial version ID. We don't need to generate one. Um, and I just, 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 this is just a, like my opinion. I really don't like having the main method as like, like here. I like, to, I like having it as the last method. So I'm going to cut it and paste it at the end. That's just, again, just personal preference, not necessary. Um, and let's get rid of these Java comments because. Well, we don't need them for this. Um, and yeah, and that's it. Okay, um, the, the other thing is, for some reason, Window Builder always likes to put the window at 100, 100. So if I launch it, for example, quickly here, by hitting the debug button, you'll see it's actually, it's not in the center. I kind of like it to be, though. 
So what I'm going to do is, um, this set bounce thing, um, we're probably not going to touch it for now until we actually finish because what happens is if we actually modify it now, um, as in just get rid of it and use other methods to set size and set location, then what's going to happen is when we resize the window in Window Builder, it's going to actually reset it. But um, some of these things will change manually. But other, other than that, we have our little window here, and that's what we're going to start with in episode two. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cherno Chat, whatever I haven't named the, um, the series yet, but I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.